Hello YouTube family. Welcome everybody into this video which is all about cheaper and better. I do want to give the credit for this video to a little gal called Everyday Heidi. I actually did one of these videos like about I think a year ago. It might have been just during the summer but basically she came up with this idea of are there things at the drugstore that are every bit as good as the high-end products and maybe sometimes better. So these aren't just things that we decided, oh, okay, this is a good dupe for it. No, these are things that I actually reach for more than I reach for the high end. So I'm gonna introduce you to those, but before we do, please give this video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. It helps me get populated into the YouTube algorithm, which is really helpful to me. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. Okay, let's get right into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is a beautiful product from Becca. You can wear it as a primer alone by itself. You can wear it in conjunction with the more silicone primer, or you can mix it into your foundation. It's so pretty and it's light and it's airy. And whenever I use it. I feel like I just have a really special product on my skin because it just glides across and it just feels so good. But I've recently come across the Catrice Cosmetics Light Correcting Serum Primer and this one is in Candlelight. This is basically the same thing. So right here you're going to see what that has done to my hand, the Becca one. But this one is um, a little bit lighter. However, they had a bunch of different colors. I just happened to choose this one. And they did have the color that would match the Becca one, absolutely, but this is just the same exact product. It has the same exact feel to it, except for I feel like it does just a little bit more of the light reflecting. I just feel like it plays better with foundation for some reason. Maybe it's a little bit less dewy or something like that, but I don't feel like it changes the texture of the foundation at all. Whereas if I mix the Becca one with it, I do feel like it thins it out a little bit, but the product is the same. The colors are just a little bit off. Years ago, I am talking years and years ago before I ever even knew about YouTube, maybe 15 years ago, maybe not that long, but maybe uh, Smashbox came out with their photo finish primer. It's just basically their silicone primer. It doesn't have any colors in it. it. It doesn't have anything in it, but the silicone product that goes in and it blurs out pores like crazy. This is the standout product to me because this is the standard that all primers were based on in the beginning of the primer world. So I really have loved this. I have a sample right now because I don't purchase this anymore. If I get a sample, then I go ahead and use it up, but I don't purchase it anymore. I use the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer now because this primer is exactly, and I don't mean a little bit, I mean exactly the same product to me. Um, it feels exactly the same. It slides across the skin exactly the same. It gives the same blurring properties. So for me on that one, it's a no brainer every single time to pick up the e.l.f. one because I'm going to save myself a ton of money as compared to the one that you can get from Smashbox. This is something that I put in every single eyeshadow tutorial that I ever do. And this one is the Benefit Highbrow. And I'm working through it because they come and they're pretty, they're pretty big. So I'm trying to work through this, but I always put the highbrow or a lightning stick right there at the arch of my eyebrow. And then I always put it in the inner corner because I have so much darkness, but this is pretty pricey. I don't remember exactly how much it is. I'm gonna throw all these up on the screen because I'm gonna be terrible with it as we go. But the one from Wet n Wild, this one is just called their Ultimate Brow Highlighter same exact product. It's got the same tone to it. It's got that same pretty pink lightness to it that does so good with just about any look you have because it's going to give you brightness, not just the color of it. And I just think it's so good. Now, why I might like the Wet n Wild a little bit better is because it's just a little bit stiffer. And I like that because I find that by the end of the day, I can still tell that I have the lighter uh, color up above in the eyebrow area. Whereas the Benefit one, I feel like it has kind of gone away if it's been a really long day for me. So I do find that I like the Wet n Wild one quite a bit better on that one. All right, last summer, I think, 
the Smashbox, the Cali Contour Palette came out. And I found that this contour shade right here, I went head over heels and that's so for because it was a really deep, muddy brown color. It was just super pretty and it worked out to be so nice on my skin. As far as it just being creamy and just a beautifully blendable product, I just fell in love with it. And then I found that I really love this banana powder too, right here, this color was so pretty and I just really liked it. This one down here is more of a bronzing, but this is a beautiful kind of peach, just a beautiful blush. Okay, so this palette, I really liked it. These two highlighter colors right here too. I really liked it. And then the other day I was in my stash and I found a new one of the e.l.f. contour palettes. And I'm like, okay, I can get on board with this. And then I stuck my finger in here and I'm like, Oh, now I remember why I absolutely love. This is creamier. I don't know if that is even possible, but I really feel like this is a creamier product. So I just was like, okay, this is a definite talk about. Let's definitely bring this up. And I feel like the color is so similar and it just is, it's just a really beautiful standout product. The application on it and how blendable and creamy they are is the same. I am finding that I do like the contour shade in here just a little bit more today, but you can't really tell at all on once you get it on your face, because can you tell which side I have the contour of which palette on? Of course you can't because they're close to the same color. So, you know, I used one on one side and the other on the other side. And I've tried them for several days now against each other and I'm like, I think this one blends out better. The other great thing about the e.l.f. palette, and I know that you guys probably already know this, but these pans will pop out just like that. I hope you guys know this, but if you picked up one of their blush palettes, you could just put a blush in there just like the Smashbox one and you would have a blush in there. And they do have highlights that are like this too. So for me, this is completely customizable. You won't have to repurchase this whole entire palette like you do with this in order to just replace the contour in there once you make your custom palette if you want to. So e.l.f. does it so well. Hands down, they have some of the best face products that I have ever used. This next one, I actually came across by chance in the middle of one of my videos I was showing you guys. I absolutely adore the Marc Jacobs highliners. They are some of the most creamy, beautiful liners that you will ever get. And they go in your waterline so pretty. They are also a really, really good one for their staying power and how they blend out. If you work with them before they actually set down, you're gonna have something so pretty. The smudging and they're just, it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. So there's two of the colors. Um, this one is called Rococo and then the blue one is called Wavelength. But I recently found these metallic lights from Milani. There is the blue one up against the Marc Jacobs one and here is the brown one. And these are just so close. What the difference is, is um, on the Marc Jacobs one, they're more on the satiny side, whereas these ones are more of a metallic look. But that silky formula, that blendable formula, the, the waterproof, how beautiful they work into your waterline, they are just so amazingly close. Now, I do know that these are $25 and the Milani ones are 10. So for me, that is like a total no brainer and I can get the Milani ones on sale all the time. The only drawback with those is that Marc Jacobs has tons and tons of colors and Milani doesn't have hardly any. So I hope that Milani does um, kind of step that up and bring out a bunch more colors, that would be great. The last thing that I have to talk to you about is something that I'm really pleasantly surprised about. I love this highlighter from Becca. This is her Prismatic Amethyst one. This really is an amethyst. It is why I got it in the beginning, but it really isn't an amethyst color. It's more along the lines of a icy soft pink color, which I do think is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of those highlighters that has just a tiny bit of a flip to it of the pink. So you're getting the really beautiful icy look on your cheeks, but you're also getting just a little bit of prismatic color in there. But then the other day I had this one out from Physicians Formula, and this is one of their better highlights in pearl. And I was looking at it, I'm going, is that close to the one from Becca? And I was like, I think it is. Now this one from Becca, you can see that it does have a tiny bit 
of the lavender on it and this one right here just has a little bit more of the pink so you're leaning towards it but i'm telling you these two formulas as far as sticking your finger in there and feeling what they are wow i was really surprised at how pretty and close they are and these are really soft if you guys like the butter bronzers you're gonna love the butter blushes and the butter highlights i really like them as far as how pretty and how nice they did on my skin without adding any texture. I do love the Becca ones, but I think that the price tag is horrible. So I will show you guys right here, them side by side, but I'm telling you guys, the way that these performed on my cheeks was identical. It was just so pretty. And then when it was sheared out as far as it being different in the colors, you couldn't tell any difference whatsoever. That is all of the cheaper and better products that I have for you. I hope that you did enjoy these products. Do you guys have anything on your list that you have substituted from the drugstore that you like better than anything that you have high end or kind of a dupe like product like we were talking about? Let me know that in the comments section below i'd love to hear from you please give this video a thumbs up if you would as i said in the beginning of the video it really does help me to populate my video out there in youtube land where there are so many different videos floating around i hope that you're all having an amazing wonderful day thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me today and i'll see you all in my very next video bye bye you guys